Hi, I'm Lisa Squire, Senior Communications Advisor with Alberta Health Services, and this is Health Matters. Joining me today is Jennifer Struble, and Jennifer is a registered dietitian with Nutrition Services, and today we're going to be talking about healthy eating during pregnancy. So welcome, Jennifer. Thank you. i got to tell you, uh, being able to eat for two when you're pregnant was one of my favourite parts about being pregnant and the baby, um, but how much food should a pregnant woman be eating versus a non-pregnant woman? Right. So a pregnant woman actually does not require any extra food during the first trimester um, beyond what their body needs. So, you know, if they're following Canada's food guide and eating according to their age and gender, um, that's all they require in the in the first trimester. But when they move into the second and the third trimester, that's when they require an additional two to three food guide servings, which is equal to about 350 to 450 calories. Um, now the increased energy needs that they have um, is a really a guide. So we use that and in conjunction with their gestational weight gain and uh, what their pre-pregnancy body mass index was prior to that. And are there any specific nutrients um, that should be included during pregnancy? Yes, for sure. So there's some key nutrients that we, that we uh, discuss and that's uh, calcium, vitamin D, iron, folic acid and omega-3 fatty acids. So folic acid is kind of the one we've heard lots about and uh, folic acid basically is just to prevent neural tube defects and um, all women who can become pregnant and who are pregnant should be taking 0.4 milligrams of folic acid um, in a multivitamin daily that has folic acid and vitamin B12. Um, they should also be eating a diet that's rich in uh, folate, uh, which is the food form of folic acid. And uh, foods that are high in folate are things like spinach, um, beans and lentils, um, oranges and orange juice, things like that. And are there any specific foods that should be avoided during pregnancy? Yes, absolutely. And um, there's a good resource that I'm going to actually refer people to from Health Canada. And it just looks like this. It's called Safe Food Handling for Pregnant Women on the Health Canada website. Um, so anything with um, raw egg or raw egg in it should be avoided. Um, we should also be avoiding um, any raw fish. Um, so that also includes sushi. And it's even if you're not choosing the ones that are actually the raw fish in it, they may be contained contaminated so we do say to avoid that. Um, sprouts such as mung beans, radish sprouts, um, alfalfa sprouts should all be avoided. Any unpasteurized milk products or anything with unpasteurized milk in it. Um, as well as soft cheeses. So all soft cheeses like brie, uh, feta, Havarti, um, those are like kind of the ones that we want to make sure that we don't have during the pregnancy. There are others but I said like that that resource is a really good guide. And if people want to learn more, where can they go to learn more about healthy eating during pregnancy? We run a prenatal um, nutrition class monthly at Community Health Services and this isn't just for first time mums because we find that nutrition information changes all the time and um, so it's good for anyone that just wants to know the latest on nutrition for a healthy pregnancy and we, like I said we run those on uh, one Monday night a week from 7 to 9 and they just have to phone Community Health Services to register. The other resource that I have have a lot of um, our moms go to is just the healthy parents healthy children and you'll see these in, in a lot of medical clinics around and you'll also see them in the maternity clinic and we give them out at community health services as well as through the best babies program um, so this is it has there's a book and there's also an online version at just healthy parents healthy children .ca. Great, thanks Jennifer. And thanks to all of you for watching. Congratulations to all the moms to be out there and bon appetit. I'm Lisa Squires and this is Health Matters.